Torah time. The weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it. Hi, welcome to Torah time. So this week's Torah portion is called Toldot. And we're still in the book of Genesis. So here we have Rebecca and Isaac. And Rebecca is about to have two children, twins, Jacob and Esau. Now, Jacob and Esau are very, very different people. Jacob is kind of an intellectual. He likes to read. He likes to study. He kind of likes to stay home. Esau is a hunter. He's kind of outdoorsy and very, very strong. Well, as they grow up, one day Esau comes home from being out in the field hunting for food because that's how they got food in those days. And he is extremely hungry. And he says to his brother Jacob, give me some of that stew that you're making. And Jacob says, I'll give you some stew if you give me your birthright. You see, Esau was the firstborn of the two. And so in those days, the firstborn was the one who got the blessing, the one who got the birthright. Well, Esau is so hungry, he says, what do I need with a birthright? Sure, I'll give you the birthright. Just give me the stew. So Esau eats the stew and Jacob gets the birthright. Well, fast forward a little bit in time. Esau is with his father, Isaac. And Isaac says to Esau, go out into the field and catch me some game and make me a good meal that will nourish my soul so that I may bless you. So Esau goes out to do as his father had asked. In the meantime, Rebecca, his mother, hears what Isaac said. Rebecca says to her son, Jacob, I heard your father telling Esau that he was going to get the blessing but I want you to get the blessing. Well, they connived a plan and they covered Jacob with fur because Esau was hairier than Jacob and they were afraid that if Jacob went close to Isaac, Isaac would know Jacob was fooling him. Well, Jacob goes in and Isaac says, who is there? And Jacob says, Esau, your son. Well, what happened? is Isaac ultimately gave the birthright blessing to his son Jacob, the second born, instead of Esau, because Rebecca and Jacob planned trickery against Isaac. This is a very troubling story. You know, you may not have done this in your life, but maybe you know someone who has kind of planned something that isn't really right, but they go ahead and they do it anyway. Maybe you know somebody who's done something like this, played a trick on someone in order to get something in return, when really it wasn't the right thing to do. What ends up happening is Esau finds out and he gets so mad at his brother that he says he's going to kill him. Well, Jacob gets afraid, and so does Rebecca, his mother, and she sends Jacob away. And we'll get to the end of that story eventually as we continue reading the Torah. But for now, I want us to focus on making sure that we don't do manipulative things in order to get what we want. Because ultimately in the long run, those things will backfire on us. We want to make choices and decisions out of clarity, out of information and intelligence, out of things that we know to be fact and true for ourselves and for the people involved. We don't want to make decisions that are ultimately going to be deceiving to others or lead to a life where we have to hide things that we have done because we know them not to be true. This is a wonderful lesson that we learn from Rebecca and Isaac and their children, Jacob and Esau. 
Well, thanks for stopping by. Shalom. Torah time, the weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it.